The object here tonight is not to be scared. The object is to receive messages from spirit. They don't have to just come through the four of us at this table. They can come through any one of you. And if you do have a message for something, a scent, if you're tasting something, you want to hear about it. If you're feeling hot, too hot, cold, something touching you, I want to hear about it. That's not uncommon here. The spirits of the temple, since we have been doing this for the last few years, and there was a group before us who did it for many years, we do have a lot of spirits, and they are friendly. They will come up. They might touch it. They're fond of touching the back of your legs, especially when we're sitting in sands like this. They like to touch you behind the neck, too. So if you feel something like that and you don't like it and you are uncomfortable, all you have to say is, I'm uncomfortable, and we'll let you out. If you get cold, super cold, that's what happened with the last time. This side of the room was freezing, while this side of the room was on fire. We want to know about it so that we can try to control it. We are in sacred space. <laughs> in a moment, I'm going to cast a circle around just once to keep our energy in, external energies that we don't want, that are harmful, that are malevolent, cannot come within the circle. Only the spirits we want can come through the circle. to let go of your worries for tomorrow. I don't want you to think about laundry. I don't want you to think about house guests. I don't want you to think about school or work or problems with the family. I want you all to just relax and take a breath in through your nose. Hold it in your abdomen for the count of three and slowly exhale it through your mouth. Feet should be flat on the floor, not crossed at the ankles. Hands should be rested up on your lap. Palms up. Are you close with Sarah? No. Not right now. But you were. Yes. And something like happened to you. Too. Yes. She wants to make up with you. She thinks about you a lot. <coughs> Can you mend your fences? I'm sorry. I would try. I think that would be a good idea. I would try. There's somebody on the side of the room that knows a Mormon. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mormon's a lot. Yes. Yes. Getting a message from Mormon's definitely for you. Please stop doubting you. Your grandfather loves you very much. But you knew that. Mm -hmm. You knew that. <coughs> Doug wants you to know that your grandfather is very proud of you and that he loves you very much, but you knew that. Thank you. Knew a Ruth. I did. I did she? Did she pass away? Yes. Ruth is with you right now. <coughs> Ruth wants you to know I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Does anyone know a Constance? I'm getting a Constance. I'm writing a book whose name is Constance. There you character. go. It's a character yes. in a book. But you're writing, this character is pretty important in your book. Yes. Yes. Ah! Mm -hmm. Wow. Getting a message from Constance. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, strange because I've never even heard that name. Mm -hmm. Constance, but it's very clear. I'm Constance. Is she the main character in your book? Not a main character. No, she's not a main character and she's pissed about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can understand why she's pissed. Is she? Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, she wants to be. In she control. wants to be. Thank you. That's odd. <laughs> you must be drawing her to life pretty well. 
Yeah, there's two of them in there, I am. Yeah, yeah. good. So she's tipped off that she's not the main character. <laughs> Girl who's contemplating selling their home. Well, if you are, now is not the time to sell the home. Don't sell the home right now. Don't sell the home right now. Now is not the time. Spirit or a presence in their basement. Is your basement finished? Sort of, semi? Half? No. no. Um, it's your basement. It's sort of semi half finished? Mm -hmm. Do you have a spirit in your basement? Mm -hmm. I sense that it's female. No, the spirit in the basement's not an old lady. It's a young girl. Not young, teenage. Like, 16? Yeah, I had problems on the bus. Like, people were just like, you know, they didn't even try to trip it. Once, yeah. Okay. You were not alone when that happened. You didn't feel angry. Do we have a Linda here? No, I'm missing. Her husband's here, but she's not here. No. I don't know. He's like, I'm looking for Linda, but she's not here. I have a message. Some games from now on Adam for some spirit. Well, yeah. I want you. as hard as always we get. She needs help. Yes. She needs help. She's lost. Yes, she is. You have to help her. But she must trust you, and she does not trust you. I don't know if that makes sense, but that, that is the yeah, message. Yeah. That's it. That's all of it. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. But I can tell that you are waiting for something, aren't you, Bob? Yes. Do you know it, darling? She's supposed ah, to come tonight. That's who it, that's it. Darlene feels guilty that she can't come? That's it. That's the message? Okay, yeah. Never mind your message. It's for the Darlene that should be there. Okay? <laughs> there it is. Thank you. <clears throat> you. Was your grandfather sort of into sports? Sort of? Yeah. Did you watch sports with him as a child? Every day? That's what he misses. <laughs> Now the circle is down, and we can move around. Get some air, <coughs> have coffee, make yourself comfortable. Farewell, spirits, until the next time. <laughs>